I, what I want to talk about and is all the, the great stuff that happens when, when you give to Living Word, right? All the outreaches that we do right now. We're partnered with uh, Robbinsdale Women's Center. Um, and we're, for, during the month of March, all proceeds, everything you donate to the outreach, if you um, put o- outreach on your offering envelope or in your text, it goes to help us Robbinsdale Women's Center, which if you don't know about them, they do amazing stuff. They, they help women in need um, that are considering abortion and they help them not just trying to talk them out of it, but to, but to help them and give them counseling and practical things like parenting classes. They help them with, with diapers and formula and clothes. And it's a really cool ministry, and I'm really glad that, that we get to partner with that. And I'm glad that, that the money you give and that we give can go help support that. But as the more I was thinking about it, praying about what I was going to talk about, I, this, this sentence kept popping up in my head. And, I've, and I've, you've probably all heard it before, but it was, God doesn't need your money. He wants your heart. So as I was praying about it, I was like, honestly, if, if we're doing what God is telling us to do, the money's going to get taken care of. He's going to make sure that the people in need get what they need. But the reason that we do these, every service, why we take up a tithe and offering is to give you an opportunity to give your heart to God and an opportunity to put your trust in him. Um, one of the things that recently, not recently, it's been a few years now, but my wife and I moved to San Diego. It's a long story, I won't tell you the whole thing, but I quit my job and we, we moved to San Diego because we felt like that's where we were supposed to be. And it was a season of my life that was, it was tough and I really had to, not that tough, we were on the beach in San Diego, but, <laughs> but I really had to trust God that this is where we were supposed to be for that season. And so while we were there and we were praying about stuff and she was calming me down when I was getting a little, I get in my head about stuff. And so what I ended up doing was I got a tattoo on my arm and if it was summer, I'd show it to you, but it's a lot of work to, I got layers and stuff. So if you want to see it after, we can talk about it, but it's in Hebrew and it says, trust him. And specifically it's from the verse Psalms 37, Psalms 37, five that says, commit your way to the Lord, trust in him and he will bring it to pass. And I love that verse, and I just got it there as a reminder because I need it to be reminded a lot, and I still do, to trust God. And I love that verse because for me, I, I like to break it down into three parts. There's, the first two parts is our job. The third part is God's. So if we commit our way to the Lord, so do what he's asking us to do, and we trust in him, that's it. That's all we have to do. The third part is God's. He'll bring it to pass. So that's what I want to encourage you that when we're passing these buckets, yes, if you want to support what we're doing here at Living Word, absolutely support it. But I want you to take this opportunity to put your trust in God. And not that God needs the proof, but for you personally, there's something about your, your wallet that's connected to your heart. And you know, you think a little bit more when you're giving. And so I want you to, to be intentional and think about putting your trust in God, trusting him with your finances, because Whatever dreams you have, whatever financial stability you want, whatever you're trying to do, you can try on your own and you can get so far, but when you put your trust in God, then it's his job to make it happen. And so that's why we, that's why we do these offerings every service because we want to give you opportunities to show your trust in God, to put your trust in God and get your heart right because like I said, God doesn't need your money, but he wants your heart. And that's what this opportunity is.